newest acquisition. His name is Chirp. His name is Chirp. He is a rock chuck that was following my husband because somebody has been shooting the rock chucks and he lost his little mummy. And he whistles at daybreak like a flipping rooster. A little bit before daybreak, actually. He likes to get up bright and early. He definitely likes to burrow. Alright, we gotta go make you some milk. Did you eat? So leave him be. I won't whack you. But if you start after him again, I'm gonna whack you. Up, hang up, hang up. I know you're getting some. Get some back in. <laughs> yeah, he needs a bottle, not just the serving. That's like 18 cc's. Afternoon. We have basically spent the morning just feeding and checking sheep and trying to round up parts and pieces for different projects that um, keep getting put on the back burner because we don't seem to find those parts and pieces. So I think the plan is to cut down some trees that fell on our power lines that go to our well. Um, and see if we can get those off without destroying too much stuff. This is the wire we're wanting to take off. It goes down here to the power pole um, and then behind me to the well. And these trees came down on it and we are just have basically been waiting for the ground to thaw and harden we couldn't do it when it was snowing, we couldn't do it when it was icy, and we couldn't do it when it was muddy. So he's gonna bring the loader. There he is. And I think we're gonna put the loader under here and try to lift these up. And then he's gonna cut maybe somewhere in here and hope these swing down, because there's quite a bit of branch, and hope they swing down and out of the way. And we figured it was better to do it today that if we needed to go to the store and get a bunch of stuff to fix whatever we mess up, it would be better today than tomorrow. So, uh, wish us luck. It was set, huh? <laughs> Our loader has an issue with its brakes and um There we go. Have to kind of get it above that a little bit. Not that I have this like fear, but you know,
Ah, there we go. And I think this makes me more nervous than the other one did, and that one made me really nervous. really sure where he wants to cut. I am sitting in the loader in case I need to move him up or down and um, to put my foot on the brake because uh, <laughs> yeah it didn't hold very well last time. Taking out the last fallen tree. Several years ago, we had a lovely windstorm with those 55, 60 mile an hour winds. No, that was the year of the microburst, wasn't it? Was that the year of the microburst that took this down? And so you used to sit up here on the other side of the shed here and the wind blew it on top of my chicken coop. So we managed to move it off and make the chicken coop usable again until the dogs decided to dig holes through there. So now we are getting rid of all the stuff we don't need and then revamping the chicken coop to what we actually need it to be. But the first step is to, you know, this piece will keep, I think we'll keep that, but we're getting rid of the tin. I, there's some wire over here and over here that need to go away. There's a pile of stuff here that needs to go away. And yeah, it's just kind of a mess. Are those good enough to reuse somewhere? Not really. Okay. Eventually, the goal is to pull out all these dead trees, clean up all this here, level it out, 
um, about up to where these logs are right over here and across and level this all out and put bird pens of some sort so besides getting a couple chickens just a couple I don't need a whole lot four maybe and then um, we want to put our we want to get a couple turkeys so we want to make a turkey run over here um, we also want a pheasant run and possibly a quail run we'll see haven't decided how all that's going to work yet right now we're just fixing fi focusing on the chickens and get that figured out um, and then maybe by next spring we'll have the rest of this done that we can order some turkeys and pheasants and get that all figured out